You, 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 you are now listening to Talkies Cheap FM. Brought to you by Bet the Tuesday. Talk is cheap, Yo, 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 yo. What's up? Good morning, good day, good evening. I don't know what time you're listening to this shit, but I am your host, Baba Tuesday. This is another episode of Talk is Cheap FM. We are going to hit it off. We're going to jump back into this conversation and continue this dialogue, continue this narrative over masculine vulnerability. I have another caller online who wants to uh, give his aspects on uh, masculine vulnerability. Is it is it safe to open up to your girl or whatnot? So let's see what he has to say. Hold on one second. Um, yo, 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 yo. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. All right, so um, the stage is yours. You can introduce yourself, tell everybody what you do if you want to, and then we'll just segue right into um, our uh, narrative of masculine vulnerability. So the stage is yours. All right, yeah, well, uh, there's no, re- there's really no need to make much of an introduction. I'll give you my first name, Jeremiah, and, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter what I do or my level of education if you don't agree with what I'm saying or, you know, people can usually tell pretty quickly whether a person is actually speaking out of merit or if they're just rambling just for the sake of taking up space. So let's, let's get it going. Yeah, there we go, straight to it. So, um... Yeah, just um, I'll let you I'll I'll let you start off the um discussion of uh masculine vulnerability. Like, is it is it cool to or is it safe to I guess show your significant other like your weakness um or anything like that? Sure. Yeah. Um, first of all, you know, anytime you're looking to ask a question, you got to define the question, and the variables that I'm looking at is do you show your woman your weakness? So the first thing that I'm wondering is, who are you? Okay. First, before we can answer something, we've got to look at who are you, because you could be a soldier, you know? You could be, you could be a little, you could be a little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You could be somebody, you could be a politician. You could be somebody who has lived their life always hiding from the world. You know? Yeah. Um, and so whenever you look at who are you, you also look at who is your woman. And I always say, you know, look at the history, you know, who are you? Who is your woman? How did you grow up? How did your woman grow up? Did you come from a home where being upfront, being honest, being open was actually frowned upon? You know, you got a lot of guys who end up falling for a lot of women who may not be in a position to be in a, in a healthy relationship, right? Yeah. You may be a man who may not be ready to be in a relationship, but you want to do, you want to be in a relationship because you feel like that's what society expects of you, or that's what you have to do if you want to have an opportunity to, you know, get in the guts, you know what I'm Yeah, saying? yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. I mean, all right. You know, so, go ahead. Oh, uh, no, I, uh, continue because... You uh, shine some light on some stuff that uh, I wanted to, uh, I guess, kind of focus on a little bit more. But, yeah, just go ahead, man. You're on a roll. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, so one thing that I look at is, you know, you have a lot of guys that first, you, you know, they're, they have always seen the example of being a man is being tough. Yeah. Right? Um, you, you, look, you, get, you get on TV and you got the, the weak um, – the people that show their expressions, uh, that they show their emotions, they're, they're always seen as weak. You know, I look at, um, you know, if you're around our age, um, then, you, then you know about the shows that you used to watch when you were a younger kid, right? You had Family House. You had a Family Matters, right? And so I think of Steve Urkel, right? What was Steve Urkel like? Everybody thought that he was weak, but that was because he was sensitive and he was real. And what happened whenever he showed his true emotions to, um, I don't forget what her name was. Laura. The, Laura. The, the, Laura, yeah. How, how did he act whenever, uh, you know, whenever he, whenever he, uh, uh, whenever he showed who he really was and what 
his feelings really were. Well, she kind of rejected him for several reasons. Well, one, I mean, he just was he didn't have a social, his social game wasn't on point, right? Um, and, but all, and so when did she start falling in love with him? Do you remember whenever he got that girl, he had that girlfriend who wouldn't leave him alone? And oh, just, and okay, she was bad. Guy, and she, she was just like, get away from me. He was like, get away from me. You're crazy. And it's almost like, you know, there's that saying that we always want what we can't have. That's true. And That's so true. And what happens, right? He gets into that, into that time machine or whatever machine he ends up creating and he ends up turning into Stefan, right? Yeah. And now Stefan is this calm, cool, collective guy who is just Mr. Suave, and he's really not worried about the ladies because he knows that he's got that self-confidence that the, that, that the result of being the best version of yourself is going to be attracting others, whether it be other men, other women, um, et cetera. You know, I look at, I look at that part. Um, and, and then also, you know, you've got a lot of women who have been abused in the past and rather than forgiving, they just use it against people in the future. I mean, let's be honest. We've always dated that other person who we opened up to, who, who ended up, we ended up breaking up for whatever reason. And then we were, maybe we were, uh, but hurt about it, whatever. And so what was the result? Instead of being mature about it, right? And saying, you know what? It didn't work. It's all good you actually take that baggage with you, right? And then you like, hey, I'm not about to let I'm not about to let the next girl or the next guy, you know, do me like this one just did, right? Yeah. And so what happens is you start using you start, you know, using stuff against other people. You watch what you say, you watch how honest you are because you know what well, the last time when I was this honest, it ended up hurting me in the end, right? Because being a mature person and being a uh, well mature, well rounded, uh, much yeah. I mean that's part of being mature, right? Um, you have to look at okay. If we, if I'm going to be in a healthy relationship, whether it be with another man, another woman, right, like with one of my boys or with my girl, I have to look at is this somebody that I can trust, whether we're getting along or not. Yeah. One thing that I always tell, uh, what, the, what I've always been, you know, I've always tried to be upfront with with uh, my intentions and whatnot, and I always say, look, at the end of the day, whatever happens between you and I is between us. And even if we don't end up working out, I will always do what's best for us, right? I mean, true love is being able to let somebody go if they're not the one for you because you know that th- that you're not the one for them and you want what's best for them, right? Yeah, true. And so that's what we have to look at, right? And so, yeah, you know, I can't help but think of, you know, if you're asking yourself this question, then I guess my question is going to be is, why are you worried about that? Because if you're spending time asking this question, then I'm wondering, you know, what other questions are you spending your time focusing on this? Well, and I, if you're spending your time focusing on this, then, I mean, obviously this is for a podcast, right? But, yeah. you know, I'm thinking of, I mean, if I walk around with my head down, I'm always like, hey, why is, you know, show sure, my weakness? Okay, well, what if I let her know that my bank account isn't as bad as I would like for her to believe? Or if, I, I'm, you know, I'm not good in this area like I would like her to believe? Then it sounds like what, you, what a person is doing is, is they're not fulfilling uh, their purpose. You see what I'm saying? Like, if you're always worried about what other people think, then you're not really focused on being a man. <laughs> having your, uh, Being a man, finding your purpose, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, so I for, for some dudes out there, I think this comes into play because I think you kind of touched on it before. Like, they might have opened up and, and uh, got destroyed. Like, had whatever they opened up to uh, with, like, the girl they're, that they were with or whoever, um, they kind of used that against them. So now they're kind of hesitant uh-huh. on um, on opening up again, right? So I kind of want to sure. actually uh, uh, take a step back. And could, you you mentioned something like, um, like, who are you? And who is, like, the person that you're with? Like, their upbringing and everything. And I... Th- that's very important in in uh, this subject, right? So, what 
are there any red flags or what do you look for um like in your in your significant other where you know it's safe to open up to them like are there certain you know things oh absolutely yeah yeah definitely that's a good question you know so one thing is how do they treat other people right you always hear that the way that somebody talks like if i'm talking to you and i'm like always talking bad about other people Mm -hmm. and i'm always telling you about their secrets and I'm using it to lift myself up. Well, then what is that going to tell you about me? Exactly. It's going to show you that I'm that I'm weak. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so uh, as as a man, I mean, as a man, as a human being, really, as as somebody who wants to be successful, I mean, you got to do your homework. Yeah. Whether you want to learn how to lift, you want to learn how to lift properly, right? Because there's no point of lifting, and then you go in, you're trying to go balls to the wall, right? And then you get hurt, and then. You know, you, you're crippled for life, or you're just to have an injury that that you bad. You know, um, and so you have a lot of guys that they don't do their homework. It's time before I open up to somebody, I'm going to test them, yeah. just like they're going to test me. Oh and yeah, I'm gonna, you know, and I'm going to ask them for feedback on certain things. You know, and I'm looking for qualities. Okay, obviously the, the looks are important in the very beginning, right? But everybody tells it that that ends up being a small portion of the whole person, right? And so I'm going to be looking at how do they treat other people? What kind of things are they telling me about themselves, right? A lot of, uh, of one thing is, you ever heard of a, the mirror, you know, mirroring somebody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so, like, whether you're in business, whether you're in, this is a business relationship or, or a relationship with somebody you're trying to talk to, you know, sometimes, you know, imitating that. that. So, for instance, you know, there's a, and I know I probably don't need to be giving shout outs to other people, but there's this guy online, I don't know if you've ever heard of him, his name is Coach Corey Wayne, and he came up with a book, it's called How to Be a 3% Man. Long story short, basically he just says that you have a lot of guys out there that they're too busy thinking about other people, that they're, and, and well, they're, they're too busy thinking about other things outside than how to be how to be a man, right? Yeah. And when you look at a relationship, you got to look at, you know, are you? Remember how we go back to who who are you and what who is your woman? Because you want to look at like yin and yang, right? Am I a masculine? You know, how masculine of a man am I? Because if I'm very feminine, then chances are it's probably not going to work out if I'm with a very feminine chick. Okay. And so you have a, so you have a lot of guys that they that they're very masculine, right? They're very tough. Mm-hmm. And then they end up dating some chick who's very masculine and tough herself. And then there's no balance. There's nobody being feminine. And so it's almost like they're having to compete. And then you have the vice versa, right? You have a guy who's a complete. He's very. He's a little bitch. Let's be honest. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And he ends up marrying this girl and maybe he was uh being very deceitful in the very beginning he got her you know what i'm saying ended up putting a ring on it whatever right and he ends up continuing to remain uh very in his feminine and then what happens to the woman she's like well either i gotta leave in divorce which a lot you know you still have a lot of people that don't believe in divorce right and they just write it out and then you have some that they start at the woman starts acting in their masculine to the point to where it happens for so long that the man starts looking more like the woman and the woman starts to look more like a man. Isn't that crazy? What was the last time, like, the next time you go to the mall, next time you're out and about, and you see an old couple, look at, like, pay attention to how they look, and you'd be surprised, right? Woman has that short haircut, both wearing glasses, both wearing khakis and polos, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Look who's walking in front of who. Right? Is she dragging him along, or is he being, uh, is he being the the man, the the man, or the one with the masculine energy in that relationship? Bro, like so those are some things that you know that kind of strike me when we ask this question. Like I see that everywhere I go, because man, I'm I feel like I'm just like a, I'm a nomad. Like I feel like I'm a nomad, right. and um. It's almost like, this is almost how I feel, like, in my mind. You remember that movie Fifth Element? Uh, a little with bit. with Bruce Willis? With, uh, with, uh, with uh, uh, Bruce? Uh, yeah, Bruce Willis and uh, Chris Tucker. Bruce Willis, 
Dallas, yeah. Yeah, yeah so I feel like I'm yeah. I feel like I'm Corbin Dallas and in that movie Corbin Dallas really only kind of paid attention to his own self and in his own world. You know what I mean? And he was kind of distant, mm-hmm. distant like he was just, you know, but he observed everything and that's how I feel like walking like I can walk into a store like a grocery store and I see like what kind of relationship these people are in. You know, I can see like the dude like getting bitched out at or whatnot and he's not in control and I can see vice versa. So I see all kinds of shit, um, different ages, different races. It, 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 it's really all the same. Right. Um, and it's just crazy. It's just cool to observe because I'm just like, right. Like right now I'm not even like trying to get in a relationship like that's, I don't even want one. Right. And that's just my decision. Because you know why you don't want to be in a relationship? Oh, do I know why? I'm just going to guess, but you have purpose right now. And you're busy following your purpose, right? You know what? Here, here. I mean, you got yo, goals, right? yo, yo, here. Listen, so you got goals, you got a podcast, you got goals, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you're like, look, nothing's going to get in the way of that. Here's a, here's a crazy thing, and, and I do come off as an asshole, right? Uh, to some females, right? Yeah, to, I don't know. Like, I, I'm a, I think I'm a cool dude. Like, really, you know? Um, but here's the thing. Like, I will, like, see a chick, right? Mess around or whatnot. And we, you know, mess around all the time or whatever. But then when they ask, like, what are we? Like, I literally, like, tell them, like, listen, my goals and my ambitions um, outweigh, like, what you like have going on like my goals are higher than like you like they're on the top of the totem pole right and uh i might not say it as eloquent as that but they get the point and they just move on you know what i mean and like i tell people like i probably accomplish more not being in a relationship than when i am in a relationship you know but you talk to some you talk to they're chasing yeah, you, you talk to some dudes, and they say that, and tell me what you think about this. They say um, that the they get, like the girl that they're with gives them motivation to go out and do stuff, right? Um, okay, but what does that motivation look like, right? Do you have, do you have her yelling in your ear telling you, what, what the fuck, you ain't shit? Why don't you go out and do something? Yeah. Or do they say, hey, baby, I got your back. Exactly. I'm not going anywhere. And I always, yours, regardless of what happens, where I'm ride right or die. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, so, what does that motivation look like? Do you remember how I said, "Who are you?" Remember, okay. Whenever you were a kid, how did you get motivated from your parents? Right? Did you clean up the house because you wanted to please your parents, or did you clean up the house because you knew that when they got home, if the house was clean, they were gonna whoop that ass? Yeah, yeah. I I was the one that like I didn't want to get beat up, so I tried to clean, but yeah. like my cleaning wasn't up to par, you know. So oh well. Right. Look at me now. I got. And, and, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So I was the kind that I knew when Dad was getting home, and so I was watching cartoons throughout the day, and then I knew like right like he would call and say, "Hey, is the house clean? I'm on my way." And I was like, yeah, it's clean. Hang up. Oh, man, I'm going 110% extra. <laughs> like, I'm cleaning this house up as much as I can before he gets here. Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm TV, and now i got to catch up. Yeah. That has, that has leaked over into my, uh, into, like, my studies. I grew up being that kid that if the assignment was due on Tuesday, I was getting that work done Tuesday morning during breakfast. Yeah. And I was getting by with an 85 or an 82 or a 78, occasionally a 90, 91. And it worked for me. So we're either living to survive or we're living to thrive. Are we trying to stay afloat? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you have a lot of people that are delusional, right? They think that because I was able to get by with that 83, cool. But guess what? That's not your best. Your best, as much as people may not want to admit it, is giving a little bit of effort every day, planning, right? Having the discipline to say, okay, yeah, I got home from school. Yeah, I don't have any homework. But remember when you have those parents that say, you don't have homework? Okay, well, then you need to read for 30 minutes to an hour. Oh, man, yeah. 
Yep. That... I have a friend like that. He, um, you know, I'll never forget. Hey, whenever we get home, let's go play some basketball. And he's like, all right, cool. Well, we get home. I'm outside. I'm like, yo, where you at? He's like, man, I got to clean. I got to I gotta read. I got homework I got to do. And so I was getting by making a, well, A's, B's, and C's, right? Yeah. And this cat was doing just straight A's across the board. His mama did not play with the education piece, you know? And so to this day, that's why he's he's going to school to be a doctor, and he's been in he's been getting his education for over a decade now, and he's still going strong. Yeah. And I'm like, man, is education really for me? Because those habits were instilled at an early age, and then as you get older, then they're exemplified, right? Yeah. So one thing I want to get back to is, and I and I posted this on Facebook. Okay, man, you as a man, your response you have two things. If you want to be found attractive, right? One is have a purpose. Okay. I'm, so, I so I agree a hundred percent with that. Because you, you know hey, you're saying like, yo, man, like I'm I'm busy, like I got things I'm doing. Girls are attracted by that. You have no idea. There's been so many times where I've had girls say, you know, like I, you know, I talk to a girl and um, she'll be like, I'll be like, hey, what is it that you like about me? And she's like, your work ethic. Man, whenever I see you work and you're focused. Nothing can get in your way, and that is just that 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 turns me on. That's, I find that very attractive. Why? Well, because if you look at the psychology of women, want, women want a man that's a provider. You're going to get it. So if you're going to go get it for yourself, then you're more than likely going to get it for me. And so I'm going to hold on to you, and I'm going to chase you. See, the other part is to protect, right? If you're if you're a go getter and you and you getting it done. Well, then I know that you're going, that you're, you know, you're more than likely going to be willing to protect whatever it is that you are going oh, after. Oh, hell yeah. Yep. See what I'm saying? Yep. So those are the two, those are the two big things. And that's one of the things, that's why I was referring to that uh, Coach Corey Wayne. And he says, you know, a lot of guys, they don't have a purpose. They say, well, you know, like, for instance, let's look at two, two situations here, okay? And, and by the way, is it Bubba or is it Baba? You know, it's it. People say Bubba like from Oklahoma down, like uh, like right, in the. Right. But it's Baba, like like almost Baba, like Baba yeah, Black I was Sheep. Say, I was like that's why I was like Baba, and I was like that's how I would say it because that's how it's written. Yeah. But then you got a lot of people down here in the south. You know, they're they're gonna say Bubba all day. Yeah. So, and you know, and like, I don't mind it. I, you know, I don't. I don't mind right. it. So so. Okay. No worries. So check it out. All right. So. Uh, Baba and I, we're going out, right? Yeah. Me, you, you know what I'm saying? And a couple of our boys, we're going to go out. We're going to have a good time. Yep. Now, me and you, we're like, we're leaders, right? We're going out to have a good time. Why? Because because I'm going to have a good time based on the company that I have, right? Yep. But then we got that friend that, 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 that rides along and says, hey, man, so where are we going? Hey man, so what you trying to do? So hey, hey, Bob, so what you trying to get into? Hey man, look at that girl over there. Go holler at her. But why? See, okay, um, you know that Reading Rainbow meme, uh, the guy from the Reading Rainbow, and he says, if you do this, then you don't have to do this. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So check it out. If you if you are not chasing, you can't get rejected. So. The dude that's like, hey, hey, Jeremiah, who, hey, hey, look at that girl. Let's go holler at her. My whole thing is, is, dude, you're messing up my vibe because I'm not here to holler at any girls. I'm here to have a great time. Exactly. And whenever you go out to have a good time, you're displaying yourself as a leader, as an alpha male, essentially. As a, you know, you're not having to follow. And so what happens? Well, me and you, we're chicken and we're having fun, and all of a sudden, you see, you know, a, a girl might come by and 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 you know, want to holler at you, turn talk, whatever, because she sees that you're having a good time and that's what she wants to be a part of. But then our boy over here, he goes up and he tries to spit game and they see right through it. They're like, okay, this dude, he's, he's, he's just like all the other, all, all the other losers out there that think that they got to go out and work on some game, this and that. You know what? Which there is a social dynamic aspect to it, but at the end of the day, if, me, if, if we're going out and we're getting it and we're having fun and life is fun and the result of that as a consequence, 
you're going to attract people, whether they be guys or women, right? doesn't even matter. Yeah. Here's, here's the thing, man. Like, I didn't, I don't know, uh, like, the guy, um, that, here's the thing. I tell people now. Like, you want to be, I tell dudes, like, you want to be the dude that chicks approach. You don't want to be the dude that you're out there approaching chicks. Like, that Like th that shit's cool, like, in college, you know, because in college, you, you know, that's the environment. Right. But when whenever you're the dude that chicks approach, that's when you know, like, you made it. Like, out here running and wasting well, your time. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I agree to a certain, to an extent, I mean, I understand, like, college, like, first of all, you got girls everywhere, and they're getting hit on by lots of guys all the time anyways, you know, um, and so I do understand what you're saying, however, you have a lot of guys that they get their feelings hurt when they get rejected. Oh, for sure. But you know, any pickup, any, any pickup artists out there, right, what are they going to tell you? Oh, you're afraid to approach? Okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go approach 50 women today. Why? So that you can get desensitized to being rejected. Mm hmm Okay? And so, I'm not saying, like, I mean, yes, you have your, you as a leader, as an alpha male, you are going to get it. You, you got your purpose. You're set on it, right? But you're also going to, I mean, like, you're still going to ask a girl if she wants to go hang out or whatever. But the difference is, is how are you going to deal with that rejection? If she says, yes, cool, I'll pick you up, or I'll see you later, whatever. But if they say no, what are you going to do now? See, what does, um, you know, it, it, character, right, is how do you handle defeat? How do you handle when you win? Yes, but also how do you handle defeat? When, you, when you're when trying to max out and you got, the, you, you, got the, you got that weight up there and you're like, you know what, I've been working for this moment, and then you, you, you get that bar up. Let's say we're doing bench, right, you get that bar up. And then it gets down, and then you can't get, you can't lift the bar all the way up and complete the rest. And then afterwards, you're like, "Oh man, do you get sad, or do you get motivated?" You're like, "Oh man, I almost had it, but you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower the weight down. Let me go 60 percent. Let me go 70 percent. Let me do higher, a little bit more reps. Let me make sure that I'm checking my sleeping, my diet." Uh, my stress, all that, and then let me attack this again. Yeah. I know that in one month, I'm coming back, but not only am I going to hit that goal, I'm going to succeed it, uh, exceed it, but maybe five pounds, ten pounds is better, right? But then you have other people that are like, oh, man, I didn't hit it. Well, I guess weightlifting is not for me. Yeah. So it's, you know, so, so again, who are you? Who who are you, and, and what is, where's your drive? What is your purpose? So, it seems like, you know, I, any, when I think about a girl that is going to, like, call a man out for being weak, well, is she doing that out of defense? Like, well, you were talking shit about me, so I'm just returning the favor, right? Yeah. Well, here's the or thing. Or is she doing it to be, like, insecure herself, and you just did a bad job picking her because she was she, she looks good, but as far as... But, but there's instability written all over her. You, man, like, you're bringing up all kinds of shit, man. Here, here's the thing, man. You know when you gave that analogy about, like, uh, bench press and you, you didn't get the, you didn't get it up, how are you going to react? You know, that's all about character. Like, it dawned on me that, um, did, have you watched any of, like, the Fast and Furious movies? Fast and Furious? Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I've seen, I've seen the important ones. <laughs> <laughs> no Tokyo drifts. We don't want no goddamn bow wow. No, no, no. no bro. but Come do you, on. you know what I'm saying? I mean, do do you remember the part? I forgot if it was the first. I think it was the first one where Paul Walker was uh -huh. racing Vin Diesel, and Paul Wa Vin Diesel won barely. Well, according to Paul Walker, uh -huh. right? And Paul Walker like got out the car all happy and was like, "Man, I almost." Like, I almost had you, blase, blase, right? That right there. You almost had me. <laughs> you almost had your car. Yeah, 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 exactly. But it doesn't matter whether you win by an inch or you win by a mile. God. Winning is winning. God damn, this dude know the quotes and shit. Yo, That's how, right. how, yeah. Paul, how Paul Walker reacted when he lost and still was kind of happy, like he almost had it. Like, that's some good-ass character right there, right? That's almost, that's exactly... 
Oh, what? Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but it, let's take it. Um, I love it whenever we take these real life experiences from like TVs and movies and life, and we try to bring it down to the basics, right? So, what we would call that is resiliency. Yeah. I'm writing so that down. That, that's being resilient, right? And what does he what does he do after that? I need to get another car. Like I need to get another car, and I need this much, and, and we need to do this and that to it, right? Okay. Now, do you remember? Um, the little, the, uh, the nerdy guy, the nerdy kid who had that little Honda and he knew, he, he ended up betting everything. Oh, uh, yeah. The Asian dude tore his butt up. Yeah, the Asian and he dude. he wants to go kill the, himself? Yeah. Wow. That's a, and they're like, oh, don't get him, don't get him, don't get him, oh my God, he's going to kill him. So like, yo, you know, like, where do you go? <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking, please go kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, but there's yeah, people out there me. like that, though. <laughs> That there's people out there that are handle situations like that, man. Right, and so what do they do? A lot of what? Well, I don't want to say what a lot of them do because I don't know. But there are, there are. You'll see that there are um, uh, guys that they hide, and now they're very more selective on who they open up to, who they raise, who they you know want to show play, who they want to show who their character to, and who, or you know who they are. And then others say, whatever. Yeah. I learned from it and let's move on. And, you know, it's, it, it, and so it, it kind of reminds me, you know, lately, you know how uh, in business, you know, you have a lot of people that say, you, you know, if you don't knock on that door, you'll never know what the answer is going to be, right? Yeah, for sure. And it's 100% of the shots that you don't take. And a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, that's so true. So I'm going to go knock on. You know, I'm going to go knock on a hundred doors. And blah, blah, and I'm like, no, you're not. Because that would require way too much resiliency. And there's only 24 hours in a day. So what I'm saying is, is yeah, be ready to knock. But also choose wisely what doors, right? Oh, shit. If I go through, you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, for instance, I was helping, I was helping my friend uh, during the summer once. And uh, he, he was selling roofs, right? He was selling and, what? Uh, uh, roofs? And, like on the houses? Uh, roofs, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A roof for your, for your house, right? He's going by, and he, you know. And, uh, you know, he didn't just wake up one day and say, ooh, look at that neighborhood. Well, let's go knock on some doors, right? No. <laughs> he downloaded the app that shows how much, uh, whether there's been hail, uh, any type of hail that has hit in the last year. Yeah. And then what that what that shows, that shows that's where he's going to go. He goes into the area, and then guess what he does? He looks at the house. He looks at the roof, and he goes, oh, yeah, that is an old roof. And then he checks to make sure that there's a no solicit sign. Oh, okay, well, this is an area you don't want to go to. Yeah, those roofs are all bad, and yeah, I wish I could talk to them, but this is a no soliciting zone. I don't want to get in trouble, right? Yeah. So let's take this. So what happens is he, you do your homework. Why? Because you only have eight, nine hours in that day before you just start getting tired and call it a day before it gets dark. So you got to take you got to take educated chances. So whether it be on hollering at girls or you know or, or meeting your goals in the gym or in school or whatnot, it's all about making sure you know measuring and, and doing your homework right yeah so for instance you have a lot of people and they say all right like for instance okay let's just scenario here all right we you know we, we want to go and find a place where we have a high chance of getting it in now that's just us in general right okay but then you have to look, okay, so so that's like one of the goals, let's just say for this example, that's the goal is, hey, look, hey, dog, like, where are we going to go? We got to go, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I need to go get it in. I'm trying to see what's going on. Where are we going to go? Yeah. Now, now I'm asking you that, and 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 I'm like, I'm, I'm, that, I'm that guy that, and this is just for this example, I'm that guy that, like, I'm not worried about the consequences. I'm just looking at how can I get my goal. I'm trying to. I'm trying to, I'm just trying to holler at a girl. I'm trying to hook up, whatever, right? Yeah. And so, and you're like, hold on, hold on. This is chess, not checkers. I'm playing checkers. You playing chess? So you got a guy who's playing chess with a girl that's playing checkers. Mm. And so he's over here opening up, opening up, and he's seeing long term, long term, and she's just like, man, <laughs> I've been broke all my life, and I'm just trying to hang on to the next guy that can take me out to eat and wine me and dine me and you know i'll give it up occasionally but you know what i'm saying whatever it 
you know, because this is how I was raised to get whatever I need. I got to do what I got to do. Yeah. So, so I'm like, hey, let's go to the club. Oh, yeah, let's go to the club. We'll go out there. We'll drink. That'll increase our chances because of, you know, right? Because alcohol yeah. will bring the guards down, and that'll increase my chances, right? And you're over here saying, well, I mean, yeah, that might work for the weekend, but then what's going to happen when you fall in love with this chick? And then you start exploring her weaknesses, and she starts calling you out on it. You know, you got women that, like, you got women that, like, you see a lot of these, you, you'll see a lot of women, they hold, um, you know, they, they use the baby as collateral, like, well, if you don't give me money, then you're not going to be able to see your kid. This oh, man, shit, right? I, I've That's heard stories, yeah, I've heard horror stories, man, fuck. Oh, bro, I, I got fuck. friends that are going through this right now, and I'm like, man, you know, this, this is unfortunate, but at the same time, this is why you have to be playing chess in life. Yeah. You have to make sure you're doing your research. And, and, and that's hard because whenever we're young, you know, well, you said you're young and dumb, right? Yeah. But really, we're acting reptilian, right? You've heard of that term, like all these reptiles. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like conspiracy theory, all yeah. reptiles, reptiles. Okay, now I've, I've actually done a little bit of research on this. Basically, being acting reptilian is... If I do this, I'm going to get this. But having a higher order sense of logic and thinking and rationale, like a human being, that requires, okay, I want that, but if I do that, that's going to lead to these things in the future, and I don't want that. Therefore, yeah. even though she's got a booty, I'm going to just go ahead and keep my distance because I see how she's acting, I see how loud she is, and I see how... how um, how that could be a problem in the future. So you know what? I'm not going to haul at her, but it was tempting because she's cute. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Listen, man. So, so fellas out there, um, before you get your last pump in, be rational and pull out because you probably don't want no goddamn kid. You don't want no kid, um, man. I, I've been. I guess I've been. Guys, huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm oh, gonna... I. I for me personally, I've just been blessed to um, not end up with a child, and I and I thank God every day because I know a couple of people personally who are going through some shit. And one of them, one of the dudes, actually, thank God he has he had uh, he has a cool baby mama, and but it doesn't all work right. out like that all the time. So that shit's that shit's crazy. Sure. So here's, here's you you um you shine the light on. On something else that I wanted to talk about, and I, I wrote it down, and it was somewhere in one of your tangents. But I wanted to give an example to everybody. Like I was kind of dating this hold chick. On, hold on. Before you before you give me that example, yeah. I want to add to what you just said. Your pullout game has been one hundred, right? But have you ever had the chick say, um, "Oh my gosh, I'm late." Yes. I don't know what's going on. Yes. And yes. You're like, Oh my gosh! I, I was I'm not a hundred anymore. Yeah, like I, yo, I don't my know mouth, what I'm gonna do. like my <laughs> mouth, fucking dropped, and it was with a chick who she was she was studying to be a lawyer. So I was already fucked. Like okay. I was just like, shit, the law is already on her side, and she's a lawyer too. Oh goddamn! But okay. luckily, um. I felt like she was probably lying, and she probably wanted to set me up where I was just like, well, since you're already pregnant, I might as well just keep on going, just might as well just, you know, bust a load in you, which I knew, like, I didn't, you know, so, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's just so that's scary. The thing is, is that, that, but, okay, and then guess what, and then you got away, right, and you were like, oh, okay, great, no worries now, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Did you learn from that? Oh, yeah, for sure. continue to repeat, right? I, um, I did learn, and I did repeat my actions, but, um, now I could say that I'm never gonna put myself in that, well, fuck, I'm, I'm lying, god damn. Well, well, well you're, you're, you're gonna do, you're gonna try to, 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 you're gonna take that into consideration the next time. Yeah. You, try, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're gonna like talk to a chick, right? Yeah. Um, you, you know, so what does that look like? Uh, I 
I'm going to drink a little less. Um, probably going to make sure that, you know how some people say, hey, don't mess around with somebody you don't plan on marrying, okay? Um, and, you know, so there, there's always little precautions that you might take. Um, now, you may still want to continue, continue to live reckless, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like, are you slowly changing your ways? It, it may not be, like, compared to somebody else, it may, you know, because some people are like all or nothing, right? Yeah. You know, like you're either you're either in or you're out. You're either playing it safe or you're not, right? Well, you can play. You know what I'm saying? You can you can try to play the game, but at some point you got you're gonna lose. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what is. You know, you may say, you know what? I'm not gonna stop playing this game, but I'm gonna make sure that I continue to increase the chances. I have the odds in my favor, so that. I don't have to. I don't have to do that, right? Yeah. I mean, you go through that scare enough times, and all of a sudden you're like, you know what, man? Putting this glove, putting this love glove on, isn't actually that bad of a deal. Yeah. Oh, and don't get me wrong. Like, you know I, I do. I do, people out there. I do wrap the shit up and everything, but. Sometimes when you're in a like a relationship, it's just like ah fuck, you know. But um, but th- no, that is that is totally true. And now, like this point in my life, I'm just like man, I have a whole lot. Like I I I understand the the power of freedom, right? To do whatever the fuck I want, especially now since I'm really like really fo- I've been focused on my goals my whole life but now I'm like really focused you know and I'm enjoying it and I'm enjoying doing what I want to do whenever I want to do it so I-, I definitely take that in consideration right and that's why that's why that's one of the reasons why I don't even want to like be in a relationship or I'm not out here looking for a chick is because I don't one I don't have time two it's going to take time away from what I want to do so yeah, but but now, now, but I think that what 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 this from what it's I, I, like I said I mean I'm, I'm not a rancher all the time but from what it sounds like is you are the result of not finding the right person and, and continuing to search right because, oh for sure for sure man when you find a good girl bro and you see a bunch of other girls you know you see a bunch of other females and they're nice right and you're like dang okay she's fine she's fine. Believe it or not, you're going to go deep down and say, nah, man, but they can't give me what my girl gives me because my girl gives me those things that the looks can't, you know, that, that's more than just looks. Yeah. She gives me that peace of mind when I go to bed and I don't have to worry about if she talk to somebody else or, you know, she doesn't have, uh, I don't have to worry about, like, if she talking to other dudes on the side. Because, you know, you got some girls, right, like, they may be over you, but they're not going to leave you until they got that replacement. Oh, for sure. That's that monkey branching. That's that monkey branch type of shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. So no, you know, like. So that's my thing is, is, you know, follow your purpose. And, uh, you know, and, and the rest of the things will come. I mean, the, it's, 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 I mean, it, it, there's a lot of places that if you try to research it, you'll, that's what you're going to find, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I agree 100%. Do you remember what you were about to do? Do you remember what you were about to say whenever I said, sorry, let me interrupt? Oh, yeah. Like, I write, like, 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 I write, I write down, I write down, like, the things I want to say. Like, I have, like, a, you know, a notebook and everything, and um, I write down things that, like, I might talk about later on or just different ideas or anything motivational. You said a lot of motivational shit that I wrote down that, um... I was going to thank you, like, at the end of the podcast about, but um, I guess I could do it now, man. So thank you for, uh, like, you gave me extra motivation for today. You know what oh, I mean? Absolutely. I'm actually, yeah. well, like, I... That's I, the thing is, as iron, as iron sharpens iron, so does one man another, right? Yeah. 